Hello everyone, welcome to this video on modules in Python. The last video was on lambda functions and if you have not seen that video, first see that video and then start learning this video. So in this subsection, you will learn what is a module, why to use the concept of module and what are the benefits of module. So to understand what is a module and what are its benefits, uh, just imagine a scenario of a small application development which consists of around 2000 lines of program code and say we have a two extreme cases in case one one, the complete application development is assigned to a single person and that person is creating a single python file which consists of around 2000 line of program code and in second case uh, the complete application development is divided into 10 tasks 10 persons are assigned the job of the application development and each person is creating one python file and thus we have 10 files and say each file consists of approximately 200 lines of code now let us compare the case one and case two with respect to this four question so in which case it would be easy to do what in parallel in which case we can effectively reuse the code in which case it would be easier to test debug and resolve the errors and in which case it will lead to the faster development of application so now let us look at one by one in case two the application is divided into 10 different tasks but in case one single person is assigned work so in case two it, it will be easier to do work in parallel so now let us look at the second point in which case it would be easier to reuse the code as in case one only one file is there and in case two we have 10 files as we have 10 files we can reuse 10 different files in different other applications over here only one one file is there so the degree of reusability is more in case two compared to the case one now let us understand the third point that is in which case it would be easier to test debug and resolve the error because in case one we have a 2000 line of code say for example so it definitely it will be difficult to go through the two lines but here in second case we have 10 percent 10 files and approximately 200 lines of code so if there is an error in each of the file then it would definitely it be easier to debug that file to test and find the errors fine so in third case also the case 2 is application development is better so now the fourth point is in which case the application development would be faster so in case one only one person is working on the application and in case two ten persons are working on the same application so definitely it would be the case 2 in which the application development is faster so from this we can conclude that if the application is divided into different parts or modules then we can do the task in parallel application development is faster we can reuse the files in other applications also so and hence the application development will be faster we already know that in ERP system there are different modules like accounting project management human resource management sales and procurement business analytics as the complete ERP system is divided into different modules the different module development can be assigned to a different team member members or a different teams and hence the application can be developed in parallel same way if there is an issue with one of the module like say for example project module or accounting module then other modules will not be affected and we can easily test and debug individual module fine so testing debugging and error resolving is easier when we have different modules also say for example accounting is is such a common module right which can be used in other applications for example we may have a banking software or a credit society software then this accounting module can be reused in that applications also and all this leads to faster development of ERP software so while developing large applications we write various functions classes methods and variables and to have easy testing debugging called reusability and faster development it would be great if we can group all this depending on the relationship between them now let us formally define module so module is a group of functions where variables methods and classes so in the 2000 line application we which we have just talked about each file may be a group of functions methods variables and classes and each file can be considered as one module so each individual dot pi file is nothing but a module so once again let me tell you module is nothing but simply a dot pi file or a python file which consists of functions methods variables and classes so now we got the answer that why to have module in python so we should have module for faster application development to increase code reusability for ease of testing debugging and resolving the error 
and to save a lot of time, resource and money. There are two types of modules. One is user defined modules and there is second is built in modules. User defined modules are the modules which are created by users like us. Built in modules are the modules which are available within the Python programming language and there are several built in modules like C, IO, Math, Random, Time, Matplotlib and, and there are so many other built in modules. So we can use these modules in our program or application. We need not to define the functionalities which are available within. We can use these modules directly in our program and application. So to summarize till now we have understood what is a module, why to divide an application into modules and what are its benefits. Next we will learn how to create a module and how to use the module and then we will see how to use built in modules like math and OS, Sys etc. And we will have a dedicated video on built in module also. We will also have a practical demonstration of how to develop a calculator app using the concept of module. Uh, this is all about what is a module and why to use module. Here we are ending this video. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great time.